Jesus is here. Jesus is here. messages the next level part one next level part one for every rise there is a price to pay <laughs> for you to get to the next level there is a price to pay it does not just come like that don't be deceived though if i come here and shout it is well with you hey that's like this and it no until you are obedient to his word the next level you are seeing, there is a price to pay. There are things to do. And I will let you know one now. Are you prepared? Ask your neighbor, are you prepared? The next level requires preparation. The next level requires what? Preparation. That's why when we came here in January, I told you. I said, you have to prepare yourself. For you to have an enviable life, you must be prepared. Write down your what? Your what? Your plans. Are you following them? As a child of God, you don't look at what is happening in the world. You look at what you have written down. Somebody will say, I have canceled this year because virus is there. You don't cancel anything. The harder it is for the world, the easier it becomes for the child of God. Shout hallelujah. What you see is what you get. If you see hard life, you get hard life. Preparation is needed. You don't just sit down and talk and it will happen. Next level requires what? Preparation. Second Chronicles 27.6. Let's look at it. You're getting to the next level. You need to prepare. You don't just sit down and say, eh, they say it's our next level. Praise the Lord. I will get everything. No. You have to prepare yourself. Ah, you will be living your life. Preparation is needed. You cannot be doing one thing the same way and get a different result. No. Spiritual and otherwise. You have to prepare yourself. The Bible says what? It says Jotham became mighty. Now listen, somebody became mighty because he did something. He did not become mighty by moving up and down, doing all manner of things. He said he became mighty because he prepared his ways before the Lord is a God. And so preparation is needed in the, in the things of God. Number one, you are born to glorify God. To bring his glory. That's why the Bible says you are a royal princehood. You must know that. You are born to be distinguished. You are born to make a, make a name on this planet Earth. You are born. If you don't prepare yourself, you will miss your destiny. That's why I see people doing all manner of things. Everybody is born great, let me tell you. But if you don't prepare yourself to do the things of God, you might stagnate your destiny. It shall not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. In this month of the next level, as you prepare yourself, between now and December, your story will change in Jesus' name. Amen. He prepared himself. You are in the world, you are not of this world. You can only manifest what God has spoken concerning your life. Am I talking to somebody? He prepared himself. And he became mighty. If you want to become mighty, you don't live a casual life. You don't live what? Casual life. Yes. So there are things we are to do. And for you to get to the next level, one vital thing that you need is wisdom. Now that's what we are going to look at today. One vital thing you need is what? I have talked about wisdom in this place several times. 
And this morning, I would want somebody to say something about it. I've been teaching about wisdom in this place. How many kinds of wisdom do we have? How many? Yes. If you know it, put up your hand now. Because this morning, I'm not prepared to teach that one. But if you know it, how many kinds of wisdom have I been talking about here? How many? Yes, my dear. Uh -huh. Yes. Is that your opening book? Looking for Expo? Yes. How many? You have been coming to Pillow of Truth. Oh? Don't make me carry cane this morning. How many kinds of wisdom have I been teaching you? I've been teaching this thing over and over. How many? Eh? It's now you are looking to know whether you will see it. How many? This is that many of you don't even write anything. You go and you read. You don't encourage me. Honestly. You cannot be coming here and remain the same. That's where I cry. But these are the things that will push you forward. I've been teaching on these things. I told you that we have four kinds of wisdom. Four. And I've been teaching this over and over. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can somebody tell me one? Yes. Earthly wisdom. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. We can call it primordial or we call it earthly wisdom that is a natural wisdom it's natural for example you give birth to a child and the child wants to eat he will put the mouth at the breast without you telling him do it is there anyone that you a little boy you will, you will give birth this morning and then you are telling him see the breast here no immediately you can he's looking for bread whether it's a man that carry him he doesn't know all he knows is that breast is somewhere and he will take it and begin to suck. It's earthly. God has put that one in every man. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Second, yes. Yes. Eh? Divine wisdom. Yes, another one. Yes. Intellectual wisdom. Good. We have intellectual wisdom. That one is acquired through what? Informal training or formal training. That you can acquire something in the school. Eh? As a doctor, as a lawyer, as a tailor, maybe medicine, all those things that you do. Intellectual wisdom is there too. Then you talked about what kind of wisdom? Divine wisdom. That's what we are going to look at today. So what is the fourth one now? What? <laughs> Diabolic wisdom. The one that the occultic people use. Diabolic. The witches and wizards, they use that one. To kill people or manipulate people. We call it diabolic. It's satanic. But there is a wisdom that's above all wisdom. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And that is what we are going to look at today. It is called what? Divine wisdom. And it is the greatest of all the wisdom you know. It is the God's sense of doing things. God's ways of doing things. And so if you are a child of God and you don't have it, you will beat about the bush. You will truncate your destiny. If you don't have wisdom, it's not enough to be a child of God. When you have given your life to Jesus, the next thing you need is divine wisdom. That is why the book of uh, Proverbs is having 31 chapters. We are to read one chapter every day. If you want wisdom, the Bible says, ask. 
and it shall be given to you. It's not enough to be a child of God. It's not automatic. We need wisdom. Tell your neighbor you need wisdom. Not the diabolic one. God's kind of wisdom that he gave to Joseph. He gave to Daniel. Solomon, Isaac. All the people that God blessed. David. They carry divine wisdom. And I see you carrying that same wisdom in Jesus' name. It is that wisdom that will distinguish you. Make you to stand out among your peers. When you open your mouth and talk, there are people that are well dressed. But when they open their mouth to say something, you now say, wow. Even with the big car. When they open their mouth, nothing did there. Boko roko. You begin to say, ah, with your brother, now yow yow they come out. You begin to wonder. Because no wisdom. You don't know when to be quiet. You don't know when to talk. That's why people are killing people. Immediately, uh, what the alert, enter your phone. Hey! Even sometimes, nothing enter your phone. No? And then they begin to trace you. Shall not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Because you don't know who is who. The world is full of evil. So we need wisdom. You don't know who is monitoring you. And they go to church, it's not enough. We need wisdom. So how do we go about it? That is going to be our sin. How do we go about this wisdom? How do we go about it? You and I, how do we go about it? You don't just sit down for things to happen. You make things happen. Tell your neighbor you make things happen. You are not telling your neighbor. In Christianity, we believe in prayers, fasting, singing, faith. They are not substitutions for planning. They are not substitutions for wisdom. Are they pray? Are they fast? When you look at the church, the prayer warriors, no problem. Because you think that prayer would prayer is good, but prayer does not take the place of wisdom. After you have prayed, your brain must be alert. Am I talking to somebody? Your wisdom must, must be in place. You don't just say, we are prayed now. When God will do it, he will do it. No, God has finished his work. What are you doing? Wisdom is the correct application of knowledge. Wisdom is the correct application of uh, knowledge. That thing that we have known, do you apply it? They say knowledge is power. No. Applied knowledge is the one that is power. If you want to cook a goose soup here, you bring all the ingredients. There is no fire, you didn't cook it. And then you say, see a goose soup. Is it a goose soup? No. Correct application of knowledge is wisdom. When you apply it, apply what you have had. Practice what you have had. And the thing gives you results. That is it. Correct application of knowledge. The knowledge is what you are hearing today. If you don't apply it, it will remain dormant. Can somebody hear me this morning? Because some of us, where we are born, the families we are coming from, what we have been hearing, we have been hearing wrong, wrong things. Some of the things that we have been hearing are wrong things. Wrong ideas are wrong ideologies. If you don't change them, you might not fulfill destiny. Some people are like that. They will hold on to one thing. Success is the outcome of wisdom. Success is the outcome of what? Wisdom. Success. For you to be successful, you must carry wisdom. If not, you'll be in the crowd. If you want to be an eagle, you must have wisdom. If you want to be a chicken, no problem. 
The bottom is always crowded. And they want more people to come there. But if you want to be distinguished, you must have high wisdom. Success is the outcome of wisdom. Ciao, hallelujah. Like I told you, after salvation, wisdom is the greatest asset given to the children of God. After salvation, wisdom is the greatest asset given to the children of God. And I want to say again, if you lack wisdom, vision cannot be fulfilled. If you lack, vi uh, if you lack wisdom, vision cannot be fulfilled. Vision! That thing that you want to do, if you lack wisdom, it cannot be fulfilled. If you fulfill it, it's half and half. It's wisdom that will catapult you to the next level. That when your colleagues see you, they will say, how did this happen? And I want to also say that when you walk in wisdom, you will see what others do not see. When you walk in wisdom, you will see what others do not eh, see. You are God who will show you what others will not see. Because you walk in wisdom. And people will be amazed. You cannot be a prayer giant. And if you lack wisdom, you will be a failure. You cannot be a prayer giant, and if you lack wisdom, you'll be a failure. Some people think that when I pray, 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 fast and pray, fast and pray, fast and pray, all things are well. It's good to fast and pray. Prayer is very good. It will chase away all your enemies. After your enemies have gone, what do you do with your life? You remain there saying, God, we did not me. My God, and I now, it's enough. No. Stand up and do something. Tell your neighbor, stand up and do something. That is where the problem lies with Christians. Without wisdom, you can still be poor with one million naira in your hand. Without wisdom, you can still be poor with one million naira in your hand. If I give you one million naira now, after service, you go and spend 10,000 naira. Is it one million again? And if they say all the millionaires pass this way, or you count your million, 10,000, not day. You go say, but they give me the money. Now, now, take buy one shirt. We are now. The shirt there for my body, 10 minus 10,000. Am I talking to somebody? And so, wisdom demands that you make your budget before the money comes. You are earning salary. You make your what? You let the money enter your hand. What not be that supermarket name? General supermarket, straight. The one way you need, the one way you don't need, though, you buy. You don't do that. Am I talking to somebody? That is wisdom for you. Man die going rotten. Is it wisdom? Nothing they wrote, you know. Life here, yeah. life. There is heaven and there is hell. When you are doing so, you must know as a child of God, there is heaven and there is uh, hell. Man, not that, you know, they wrote, you know. The Bible says, whatever a man sow, that shall he reap. So wisdom demands that you don't live your life anyhow. You don't just live your life anyhow. Wisdom demands that a child of God, we need to live our lives right. Righteousness and love of God is required. Then go increase your wisdom. Let us look at Proverbs 1 7. He said, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of a knowledge. And I told you that applied knowledge is what? Wisdom. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Fools, if you despise what I'm saying this morning, the Bible says you are a... Now me talk. 
There are some key things that I'm going to say now. The, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? Knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Fools. When you do it your own way and not in God's way, it will not work out. Let us look at the same Proverbs 4 7. Proverbs 4 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom is the principal thing. Very important. Principal means w the first thing that you need in life after your salvation is what? Wisdom. This one says wisdom is what? Supreme. So get wisdom. And whatever else you get, get understanding. Get what? Understanding. Many people, even if somebody is telling you, Guru, you are going. See pity how you are entering. Some people have made up their mind to do some things, ugly things. Because they believe it's supposed to be so. I want to give you an example now. Some people don't believe in the girl child. Wisdom demands that whatever sex of a child that God has given to you, you praise her, God. But when your wife gives birth to a female child, you do what? You run away. Am I talking to somebody? Waiting in born. You know, go we'll talk again. Now, when he born, my wife born by you. When he, what is wrong with the girl child? I was told of somebody that had four children recently. Four girls in Akenfaya from another state. I don't want to mention this state. The man has decided not to train them. Is that wisdom? What is wrong with the girl child? It's even better to have girls. Am I talking to somebody? See what God is angry with us. He's angry with the earth. See what is happening everywhere. I now told her, I said, take me to that man. She said, in the park from her sister. I said, tell me the truth. Oh. Four girls are there until he has, he said he's waiting for, he will not train them. Big fool. Big what? You don't want to say the fool, eh? The man will come and arrest you, Abby. <laughs> Praise the Lord, though. Hallelujah. Whatever that God gives to you, you should appreciate it. Anytime a man gives birth to a baby, I say, ah, you are so blessed, though. Things will be easier for you. It's the blessing of God that added no sorrow. God has given you. Instead of you to rejoice. See what is happening here. See, 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 see what is happening. Don't you see what is happening? God is angry with us. Until you have a baby boy. How many boys? Now you are looking for who bring out your name. Who they bring with person name? You better bring out your own name. Oh. Bring up your own name. You are waiting. Which child is bringing somebody's name out? Otter farm is what? Who has Otter farm? Eh? Do you know the name of his son? He, God forbid if he dies today now it is his son Abby. you will hear his name eh? okay you are waiting eh? you know Tabek company Tabek you know it have you heard before okay thank you you have not heard it but somebody knows it here praise the Lord though. <laughs> but you know Russell works you know Russell works Eh? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Russell works is who? Okay. <laughs> if you don't bring up, if he, even if he gets a baby boy now, he's not going to inherit that Russell works. Can you hear me? If you are looking for who bring out your name, you better stand up and do something and let your name reign. That's what I'm saying. 
reign. It's wisdom for your own name to reign. You are waiting to have a baby boy before your name will reign. It will not happen. You better make your name reign. That is the reason why when God gives you a baby girl, you are sad. Am I talking to somebody? That is wisdom. Nobody brings somebody's name out. Let me tell you, Coca-Cola. You see Coca-Cola. You know the man's uh, son. That musician, what's his name of that musician? Fella. Have you forgotten Fella? You are not forgotten. His son is singing also. If they sing the song, they put it on the screen now. Don't you know the difference between Fela and uh, what's the name of that is song? Femi, don't you know the difference? Okay, so when Fela is singing, you now say it is uh, this other one. No, Fela's name is still ringing even when he has died. The other one is still raining when he's, is he alive? Yes, the difference is there. So if you are waiting for baby boy to bring out your name, sorry, you better work on yourself. And let your name reign. Am I talking to somebody? If I know by by, my name got lost. It don't lost already. <laughs> it lost already. If the child does not behave well and is called a rufa, will you be happy? You will not be happy. When they are looking for a pop, 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 yeah, you will even deny not be this house. It shall not be a portion in Jesus' name. It's not just giving birth. You are waiting for somebody to bring out your name. Sorry. That's what it is wisdom. My name don't lost. Your name lost before you started having babies. You never see those were not born where their names see the ring. Some clergy men did not have children, but their names are running. You better do something. Don't wait for daughters and sons. Daughters and sons have their own work. Tabek and company. Ask somebody. Eh? Okay. Russell works. Ask them. That's what I mean. That is what I mean. Don't sit down and wait for, you know, when I born, no. Wait then go come. No! Do something with your life. Your children will come and do something with their own lives. They have their own life to live. They have their own life to live. When you are sitting down to inherit somebody's properties, you will go nowhere. The Bible says, good father, keep it inheritance for your children, children. And so when you are bitter to keep something for your children, you limit your life. Shout hallelujah. That's why some people are achieving nothing. Men I nay, then I can't call my property. Now you are 80, you have nothing to chop. Because wisdom did not tell you to invest. You are afraid of those who will take your money. That's why you don't become money. Okay. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Wisdom demands that you make your life count. Make your life count according to God's word. According to God's word, make your life count. Many of us, but Bele will not allow us to come up. Always thinking of what somebody will do to you. Uh, if I put money here, then go collect her. Yeah, then go collect her. But you are not thinking of how many years you are going to live. You are not thinking. Those kind of people, God does not even kill them. They will be there suffering. If you like, swear for your children. The Bible says, good father, keep it. Wisdom says, good father, keep it. Keep it what? In say, inheritance for children. Say, good father, do what? Say, keep it inheritance for children. Okay. For your children, eh? Children. That means your children and your grandchildren must inherit your property. It's wisdom. It's a... Eh? Because you don't want anybody to inherit your property, you didn't do anything when you were strong. Tell your neighbor, invest when you did strong. 
Uh-huh. God will provide. God will provide. That is the Christianity. God will provide. I shop this one for me. God will provide. Do something when you are young. When you are young, do. Oh. Yeah, and we know they do yeah, we are for you. And they tell you the truth. The first billionaire in the US is called what? Rockefeller. He died in 1937. Rockefeller died in 19 and he's still raining. He was a believer. Giving God 90 percent. You see rainy to today. You're not here in picking name. Make name for yourself. Make name for your no wait for your picking. Your picking go make your own name. If you didn't hear that, if you didn't hear anything, hear that one. Now, when is first September? When is September first? Eh? Very good. September, October, November, December. What do we call them? Okay. In your brain now, how, how do they look like? Eh? How, as you are entering the Imbama, how do they look like? I'm asking you now. Tell me the truth. Eh? Are you sure? <laughs> how do they look like? People believe that in those months, accident, death, problem. No! Whatever you call them, they become. The Bible says that Adam, God wanted to give him a wife. In Genesis 2. God wanted to give Adam a wife. And what did God do? God now allowed all the animals to pass. Thinking that you pick somebody there as a wife. When she passed, he passed with cap on his head like this. Adam looked and said, this is what she passed. God passed, making younger before Adam. Adam said, you are goats. I will not marry you. Then, monkey passed and was singing glory to God. Thinking that Adam would take as a wife. No way. Praise the Lord. Though. He did not choose. Chicken passed. Adam didn't choose. But he gave all of them names. He did not choose them. He gave them names. And the Bible said, whatever name he gave to them, God endorsed it. So whatever you say, you get. If you see the Imba Mons as glorious Mons, you see the Imba Mons as lifting. You see the Imba Mons as blessing, as joy, as peace. You see the Imba Mons as your next level. You see the Imba Mons as enviable months, it will be for you. Whatever you see, you get. Tell your neighbor, whatever you see, you get. And whatever you say, consistently, you say it, you will, you will have it. Amen? So as the Imba months are coming, it's your duty to bless them. You don't talk like the unbelievers. This year is a leap year, not so. Eh? And so many things have been happening. So as believers, you don't say, this thing here, no. Every day you are blessed. Does the Bible change? Does the word of God change? No. So you don't change your confession to the negative. No way. You stand by his word. Is somebody getting anything today? Wisdom is very important. Very important to believers. I don't receive Christ. It's not enough. You need it. I need it. Daily we need it. Jotham prepared himself until he are well prepared. Until you are well prepared. If you want excellent spirits, you must go with wisdom. 
If you want to be distinguished among your pairs, you must seek for wisdom. The Bible says, if you lack it, ask, and God will liberally give to you. Give to you. Don't live an empty life like water. When the thing flow, it flow. It help, it help. You come like that. Now, so with them from our family, oh, nobody they grow. You have refused to grow. Waiting for somebody to come and lift you. God has already lifted you. Higher and higher. He said you are a royal priesthood. You have excellent spirits. The mind of Christ is upon you. You cannot be a failure. Tell yourself, I can't be a failure. The world will celebrate me. You, you don't have confidence in what you are saying. <laughs> the world is not a global village. So whatever you are doing, God will take you to a new level. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before we close this chapter, let us look at something. I want to tell you something now. Five basic reasons why you need money. As a believer, wisdom demands. Because many of us are believers, we are not prospering. Because we don't give God first. Five reasons, simple reasons. That we need money. Five simple reasons. We don't live our lives like the unbelievers. You have accepted Jesus. Your money belongs to God first. Because we don't do that, many of us are struggling in Christianity. Number one thing that we need is for the work of God. I am not going to tithe and offering, no. But I just want to say something. The number one thing you need to, if you are not in Akefa here, you need to enter transport, not so. Eh? Am I talking to somebody? To church? You need offering. If your church is building something or buying something, you need to be involved. Wisdom demands. Those are the first things that you should use your money to do. But these are the last things. When you have money, you don't even consider your transport. Even if they are announcing something in the church, it does not concern you. But that, the offering, does not, nothing concerns you. Yes. Wisdom demands as a child of God whatever you have is for yourself and you want God to push you to the next level. It doesn't go that way. You must consider God first. Can somebody hear me here? When you are spent every and then offering, I know if you can change. Even the one where they the ten away, they don't take and buy granola eat. And then you want God to take you to the next level. You consider God first. Even if you don't eat evening meal. And it will take you to church. You consider him first. So that he will consider you and push you to the next level. Number two. We need money for our families. Is it not? Uh-huh. Families, you pay children school fees and all that stuff. Even that was people will not consider it. They will have money, they will not do it. Rather than that, they will enter club and be buying BB clothes. When you talk, Nawala. Wisdom demands. First is first. I'm teaching you wisdom. How to live your life so that you live stress free. Get and set and set and. You are the Satan to yourself. People don't like the truth. Sometimes, if you don't have wisdom, we are the Satan to ourselves. God has given you children to train. What are you doing about it? That one and a second class. There is a time for everything. I don't want to go into sacrifice now. But that one is next Sunday. 
Because without it, we'll be limited. Life is not just uh, butter and bread, butter and bread, sugar, sugar, honey, honey. It's not like that. It's not so. It takes pains. If you want to grow, it takes pains. Tell your neighbor, it takes pains. It takes pains for you to grow. Some people, even, even if they have the mo- money, even if their children are dying of hunger, they never bring her out. To. Rather than that, not tell your house then they. Your clothes, where you go buy today, where you go fade out tomorrow. Your children are crying, Papa will never chop, I beg, go there. If they go drink, I kai. Buy beer. Suya. You there for Suya Jones. And your children never eat. And you want God to do the extraordinary for you. Wisdom. Demands. That you take care of your family very well. Am I talking to somebody? In the morning, your children are in your neighbor's house begging to eat. Is it a good thing? Then when they come back, eh, you don't reach time where they go eat for our neighbor's house. On a good year, on a good year. So that they go. Your money they your pocket. You told me no one buy for your children to eat. You don't do this like that. Am I talking to somebody? Because I'm talking to the world, not on the pillow of truth. Another thing that we need money for is for the poor, for the less privileged, because they are always around. Genuine ones, not lazy people that don't want to do anything, that we are bigger, better than me, I don't have. You will dress very well and come and put stuff where I know fit by. Big phone where I not get. Your phone is 150,000. And then, <laughs> give me, I need money. Big phone there, I had a, bururu, bururu, one man came. I don't have big phone. No. He came. I bought this phone. He was telling me the price. At the end of the day, give me money. I said, go and sell your phone. Go and sell it. If you need money, go and sell your. I don't get big phone. You come with big phone. You don't buy big phone. They come, they do it like this. The nurse say, man, I can't give you money. Phone, who I not get? I said, go sell her. Go and sell it. Clothes where you get me are not even fit by them. You don't put stud. Put eyeglass for there. Mama. Now papa. Not be mama. Me too, I'll papa you. Am I talking to somebody? Live a reasonable life. Because you know that you are going to beg. When money reach your beggars can never be rich. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down. When you give, you will get good measure. Beggars can never rise. That is the truth. People know they like to hear truth. My mouth is full of truth. Genuine people, you can give them. When people are genuine, you can give them. Can I hear? You know that you need money for balanced diets, to live long and live well. Balanced diets. To live well and live eh, long. Balanced diets. Not just for my alone. Our diet, no matter how small, should be balanced. We need money. All those things. We need wisdom. We need what? Wisdom. Little, little things. It doesn't matter. If you cannot buy big meat, you will not eat well. No. There are little, little things to do. Wisdom demands. Women, can you hear me? Even if you can afford crawfish, do it. With some. If they sweet pass, the one where they take big, big fish cocoa. 500 naira can produce soup. Am I lying? That you can eat. No, 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 no. We're not going to take my meat. We're not going to take my meat. Even if there is no oil. If I prepare, you will not even know whether oil is inside. That is the truth. It is not when you are giving big money, give some food 10,000 naira. 
The soup not get taste. Oil one side, a goosey one side, oporo one side. It is not the amount of money. You eat storm. You don't know the number of cups you put in the soup so that the soup is open. I don't cook finish. Oh. The oil is smelling, pepper is smelling, okra is smelling, the tomato is smelling. Everything is smelling inside the soup. And you have finished cooking it. How much did they give to you? 50,000 naira. One soup, don't finish. When you are giving money to the market, what do you do? First of all, you, you, you branch to where? You, they gave you money for balanced diet. Bendan boutique, you don't go there. Uh -huh. How much be this cat? How much? Tell me how much be this cat for the race? 7,000. Okay. How much last? How much? Sisters, okay, take. I don't carry them. When I carry them, put inside my bag, finish. Uh -huh. Foolish man. Anything they see. I go tell and say, market cost. Coronavirus don't take all the things. So when I reach out, go drink. I had a neighbor like that. Very spiritual. When it comes to money, in the night, she will not allow you to sleep. I became her prayer partner. I was downstairs, she was up. Ibo woman married to Nimbi man. But, very spiritual, though, when it comes to money. When she's giving money, hey, one day I met her in the market, she, can you, she don't carry her money, go buy shoe. She said, I said, I not get. I know. You don't give money to people like that. Even if you foolishly give them, and you discover it, you withdraw from them. They will use their money to buy cloth or wear. Then you'll be feeding them. Shine your eyes, oh. Wisdom demands. God will not kill you for that one. Every day you dress well and come and be disturbing me. God will not kill me. Go and sell your big abada and eat. Am I talking to somebody? You must be genuine. Sell your big agbada. Women, take your time. Don't use your feeding money to go and buy Bendan boutique. Am I talking to the women all over the world? Feed your family with the money that they have given to you. Don't go and buy your ring and chain and wear. First things first. There is a time for everything. Don't disturb your life. Live stress-free life. When your money channel normally, you will not have problem. Have wisdom to budget. Budget before the money enters your hand. If you're expecting anything, budget it. Write the things you want to do with the money. I have worked with people, so I know. You are going to Swali to buy something. By the time you reach Agudama, you see something. Somebody is carrying something. You just pack there. Come, come, come. I used to I, I say, is this in your budget? I have worked with people. Then you say, Mama, can you give me what? Give you what? I'll be giving to you when I discover and not get. If you borrow payback. Some people are used to borrowing and they will not pay back. Use borrowing to cover. Praise the Lord. The next one, like I said, you have to leave inheritance for your children, eh? Children. That is God's standard for you and I. We are to leave the money that we are getting in this world, we are to leave inheritance for our children, children. If you know that, you'll be careful with your life. You be careful with your resources. You be careful with your resources. You be very careful with your resources. You don't wait for 40 years before you make it. You don't wait for 60 years before you make it. Am I talking to somebody? You don't wait for 70 years. Go 
God is waiting for you and I to apply knowledge. Jesus go to him. Eh? You are waiting for Jesus to come down. Eh? I don't pray. After you are prayed, go stand up and do something. You have prayed all the witches and wizards in your family have died. What are you doing with your life? I'll be 28 years old. Now when I reach 100, I go do something. Okay, stay there now. You go soon beg from your children. The Bible did not say we should be begging from our children. We are teaching wisdom in the church. When they give to us, is Jara. You are not to curse your children. Am I talking to somebody? You are packaging them, package yourself too. I used to tell people, you are packaging your children, package your, don't tell me. Because I don't know anything. It is you that didn't do anything. It is you. I know there's some people don't vex for me this morning, Abby. Who they vex? Huh? I they teach you on a better thing. So that in our life, people go say, ah, not be the same work where would they do? Not be the same secretary where me and you they do, you be thief. A roofer, you are a thief. Or did they say you are a thief? You are not distinguished. Somebody must call you a name. You must be different. There must be a difference between you and others. There must be a difference. There must be a difference. Don't live an empty life. There must be a difference. Finally, you do not need prayer to spend money but wisdom. Number five. You don't what? Huh? You don't need what? To do what? But you need what? You don't need prayer to spend your money. You need wisdom. By doing what? By planning. By budgeting. And the first thing I told you was what? Consider God first. You cannot do everything and then I don't have hope. But throughout the week, you were spending your money. Now when God tired, when you do that, you stagnate your life. Those are the secrets I'm telling you. So no matter the situation you find yourself, God is ready to bless you. He said, please, please, Help me put that scripture there. Isaiah 60, 22. Then we will pray. I want to show you a scripture. So that you don't worry your life. The next level is painful. I cannot come and tell you, you am like, amen, yeah, amen. Dump, chat, hallelujah. Then you remain the same. Until you launch into what I'm telling you now, practice it. Applied knowledge is power, not the one you hear. The one you apply. Isaiah 60, 22. Look at what the Bible says. A little one shall become what? A th- that little one in your hand, God says, will push it to a thousand. When you prepare yourself like Jotam, when you consider him first, Every human being is selfish. If I give you Byron now to do something, you first of all write your signature there. It's your signature you write to. Yes. If you have paper now, you are doing nothing. The first thing you do is to do signature there. <laughs> that is not so true. We are selfish. A little one shall become a thousand. That little one that you are despising shall become a thousand. When you consider God, these scriptures don't just come like that. It's not tomato. It's not pepper. It's not beans. 
and a small one, a great nation. That small thing that you are doing. The pillar of truth you are seeing so is a greater nation. So I'm not worried. <coughs> I'm just bringing up uh, disciples. Jesus worked with how many? When the crowd come, they go. Twelve. Even the twelve they there, some they doubt them. Some they do what? <laughs> Some even they despise her. Now look at the last one. He said the Lord will hasten it in his own time. He said, I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. So God has time for you and I. That is the problem. The continuity of what you are doing is going to show off. You do today, tomorrow, you not do. Uh, 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 1955, I've been doing them now. Uh, 1955 to now, how many years? You they do them. The one way you do remain for 55. You never do. Continually. God said, will continually bless you. Take it to, uh, engineer, please take it to verse 11. You don't just jump scriptures. When you do it for God, God is ready. Many of us are not obeying. We are not obedient to his word. That's why we are stagnated. Look at this. He said, therefore thy gates shall be open continually. You and me, our gates are not supposed to close. Continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. And their kings may be brought. So when you are doing your business, it is blessed. Finally, Psalm 1 verse 3, then we'll stand up and pray. When you consider God first, wisdom demands that you consider God first. After you have spent everything, God lasts. Somebody was telling me, I don't think God shall show. Somebody who's of my level, I don't think God shall show the money, not do. You don't spend all the money, travel up and down, to, you know, of my level. They tell me I don't think gun chunk. They call me, they tell me, money not them for my hand. I say very good. Now me where money there for my hand. And it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in its season. So there is always a season for you and I. His leaf also shall not with and whatsoever it do shall prosper. So prosperity is your what? Birthright. Anything you do must so you must speak to your Jesus is here.